So when you're using the automatic explosive detection feature, XAC, which draws the red box around any organic material that could potentially be explosive, you will experience false alarms. Now these false alarms are items that fall into the same category or window where we're looking for these explosives, but organic explosives, but are not an explosive. So again, the process that we use or the procedure of alarm clearing is anytime you see a red box, you wanna look inside the red box and see if you can see anything that looks like a detonator. And again, we'll teach you, teach you this in the x-ray interpretation class. But in this x-ray image, we're showing you an example of some of the items that you'll encounter at the checkpoint that will alarm with a red box that are not explosives. And one of the most common that you're gonna see is if you let liquids into your facility um, is water bottles or any type of drink bottle. This could be Coke, Diet Coke, it could be milk, it could be orange juice. Any of these drinkable liquids could, could potentially create a red box alarm. Now the process to clear these is to actually look at it and look at the shape of it and you can actually verify that there is a liquid inside there based on the liquid line that you see inside there. And also the shape that you see is it's actually inside of a liquid container. The other part of the process is you can have the person open up the bag and verify that it actually is a liquid and not a solid. So again, you'd also want to apply whatever your policy or procedure is at your checkpoint in regards to letting liquids in. The best way to deal with liquids is to not let them into your facility. Um, because of, of the fact that they generate so many false alarms is why something buddy like TSA does not let you bring liquids into the facility. They're trying to reduce the number of false alarms. Now the other item up here that is alarming is actually over here. And we can't really tell what that is. We can't see that it's, a, it's, it's you know, shape or what's going on with it. So it's kind of strange. But if you look really closely, it looks like it's got some sort of cap here that's a screw off type cap. But what is it? Now I'm looking at this image and I'm looking at the red box and I do not see anything that is potentially what I would consider a detonator or an IED circuit anywhere near it. So it, my alarm level is definitely dropped on this, but again, what is it? Now the only way you're gonna verify what it is is you have to open the bag and take a look at it. So in this scenario, we'll go ahead and press P1, which will unlock it. We'll do a secondary screening of the bag to take a look and verify that it's actually a liquid container and also verify what is this other red box alarming item here, okay? So we'll go ahead and push the bag out um, and we can move it back either way. We'll take control of the bag and we'll go inside and take a look. Now, if you don't think it's a threat object, and um, you're pretty convinced it's not a threat object, you can, in your policies and procedures, have that person open the bag up for you so you're not sticking your hand in there. And you'd simply dictate to them based on your interpretation of the image, it looks like you've got some sort of liquid container, like a bottle of water or something. Can you pull that out and show it to me? And then also tell them, it also, you also got something else in there that's got some sort of cap on it that's organic, that's over in this part of the bag, and have them pull that item out for you too. So I'll go ahead and open this bag up. And I know what the items are. The first one was a bottle of water. And I'm able to tell based on how it moves that this is in fact a bottle of water. Now, if this was a liquid explosive, liquid explosives are very viscous and they're gonna be very dense materials and they're not gonna have this movement like water. Think of it like corn syrup, okay? They have that consistency. Um, and again, they probably won't be this color, all right? So again, whatever it is, it should be uh, liquidy like this. Um, and again, if it's a flammable, the only way you're gonna be able to tell if it's a flammable, and we'll teach you that in another part of the extra interpolation class, but there is a way that you can do that. But again, I'm able to clear this and verify that this is not an explosive threat. And I'm gonna go in the bag and look around and see if I can find the next item that's uh, actually caused an alarm. And this is another item that you'll see a lot that will cause alarms. Any type of lotion, hand cream, a lot of this stuff like this that's a very thick, gooey type material, is going to fall into the same range of where we see explosives. And this is why TSA don't want you bringing this stuff on the airplane, and they require you to have very small sample sizes, is because they actually generate false alarms. So again, the process of taking a look at this, verifying it is what it is, you can potentially clear this, and then whatever your policy is at your checkpoint, um, you can determine whether you want to let this in or not. So again, this is the process of alarm resolution for a red box. You will get items that will cause alarms that are not threat objects. And when this happens, you have to go through a process to verify, in fact, what they are, 
through x-ray interpretation or an actual visual inspection.